Today's menu, all the Red Rock Deli chips. They've been very difficult to find together. So, managed to get all of them, let's dig into it. All right, let's start off with lime and black pepper. Three and a half stars. Potassium about 1500, that's pretty good. Sodium, 379, that comparatively is actually quite low. A lot of the other chips are easily into the 400s and 500s. And let's look at the fats, 23.8. Certainly not high. That actually seems quite low. Let's see how it tastes. Lime and black pepper. Very nice. So this one. Peppery taste is very mild, so it's not offensive. And um, I wish the lime was a little bit stronger. So it obviously goes in the first place. Let's move on to honey soy chicken. Honey soy chicken is two and a half stars. Have a look here. Yep, that's a good amount of potassium in there, about 1500. Sodium's higher in this now, so 522 milligrams. That would explain why this is now only two and a half stars. Fat, however, is still quite low, uh, under 25, which is always good. Honey soy chicken. Again, it's really nice. This one. A little bit saltier than the lime and black pepper, obviously because it does have more salt in it. But overall, this flavor is very pleasing. If you recall, in another episode, we've tried honey soy chicken that Kettle made. That one, I think the balance of sweetness and saltiness is not quite there. This, the balance is much better. So it's not too salty. It's not too sweet, but it is saltier than that. So I think I'm going to rank that second for now. Next, we move on to sweet chili and sour cream. High expectations here because the kettle sweet chili and sour cream is the highest ranked chip so far. Can this top that? And before we get started, it is two and a half stars. Again, over 1500. Okay, this is getting up there in terms of salt content, 620 milligrams of sodium. Fats are still nice and low, around 23, comparatively speaking, compared to other brands. So, sweet chili and sour cream. No surprises here. The sour cream taste in this one is really good. Do I like that better than lime and black pepper? I think I do. So this one is going to top place. Here's the ranking so far. Chili, lime, honey soy. And let's move on to sea salt. Three and a half stars. That's quite good. Really good potassium content. Over 1500 is good. Sodium, 500 is about on par. And fats, a little bit lower than the other three. So the sea salt flavor, very nice. Nothing to complain about here. It's not too salty, which is always good. The taste, I think, is quite balanced. I think it would compare very well to the Smith's salty flavor. However, do I like this more than these three? I would say no. So I'm going to leave that in fourth place for now. Now we move on to the last of the standard flavors, sea salt and balsamic vinegar. Two and a half stars. Again, over 1,500 in potassium. Sodium is definitely high now, 730. And fats approaching 24%. So the salt and vinegar one. Look, I think it can probably stay there in fifth place. It's a really good flavor, make no mistake. However, I think me personally, I just don't really like the sour flavor. So the vinegar flavor here is really good. It's very authentic. Nothing about any of these flavors taste artificial. So really liking all of them. But if I had to rank them, this is how they are for now. Okay, that's all five of the standard flavors. Now let's move on to the three limited edition ones. The first one is roast chicken with sage and burnt butter. Sounds interesting. Three and a half stars. Again, over 1500 in potassium, which is good. Sodium, relatively speaking, 400s is actually lower than most. And the fats, again, under 24, which is 
Good. So the roast chicken, it's quite nice. Pretty standard chicken chips flavor. I think the honey soy chicken just outdoes this one in terms of flavor. Up next, Dijon mustard and honey. Also three and a half stars. Good potassium content. Lower on the sodium content. And a little bit lower than average on the fat content. Dijon mustard honey, really surprised by this one. Normally I don't like honey style sort of flavors, but this one is extremely pleasing. The mustard taste is very authentic. Nothing artificial about this one. Where would I rank this? This is gonna go equal second with lime and pepper, simply because lime and pepper is very mild. It doesn't stand out much. This one here stands out a lot more as a flavor. Up next. Bourbon glaze sticky ribs. This one's looking promising as well. Two and a half stars for this one. Let's have a look. It's good that they're always maintaining over 1500 in terms of potassium. Sodium content, yep, under 500 is okay. This one, yep, under 24% in terms of fat. Bourbon glaze sticky ribs. Can't fault it, really good flavor. Uh, probably because of the barbecue sauce flavor is quite easy to replicate. But this one, where's it gonna go? Very surprising. It's gonna go equal second again with lime and black pepper, Dijon mustard and honey. And here's how it looks so far. Sweet chili and sour cream just edges out the rest. So these three are in equal second. Then you have honey soy chicken in third. Roast chicken in fourth, sea salt in fifth, and the salt and vinegar in last place for now. We've got two more Chef Series flavors here. The first of which is crispy fried chicken. This one, three and a half stars. Let's have a look at the ingredients here. Oh yeah, potassium's pretty much the same again. Sodium's in high 400s, and the fats. Again, under 24 percent. So the crispy fried chicken. Keynote hot sauce. This is quite spicy. Good if you like that sort of thing. If you don't like spice, maybe stick to some of these other ones. But I personally do like spice. I've really enjoyed that one. That is gonna go equal first with sweet chili. And lucky last, another Chef Series one. This one's crispy pork belly with apple sauce. Still three and a half stars. Over 1500 potassium, getting towards 500 in terms of salt. And the fats, again, still under 24%. So the crispy pork belly, last of the 10 flavors. Had a good think about this. This one's a little bit inconsistent. In some bites, it's a little bit too salty. In some bites, um, it's got a strong peppery flavor to it or a, like a spice flavor. So overall, I think this one is gonna go equal third with honey soy chicken. Here's a late edition. This wasn't available when I uh, bought all of those, but I did manage to find this one finally. This one is another Chef Series braised beef brisket with caramelized onion. It was hard to find, not many places had this. Another one that's actually missing from this lineup, and I do apologize, I could not find this one. This is the Thai chili, which doesn't seem to be available to any supermarket anymore. Maybe they're discontinuing it. Maybe there's too much overlap with sweet chili. Either way, there's no point ranking something that you cannot find. All right, let's get into this one. Three and a half stars. 1530 milligrams of potassium. 501 in terms of salt. 23.6 grams of fat. Okay. 
nothing to complain about here quite enjoy this it might be a little bit more salty than the rest so yes onion flavor is quite realistic uh, i had a good think about where i put this one i think i like this just as much as the honey chicken after eating these two back to back I do think I actually like that slightly more than the crispy pork belly. So crispy pork belly is going to drop half a point, And then this one is going to sit on equal footing with the honey chicken. And this is how everything looks. You've got one chef series, the crispy fried chicken with hot sauce and the sweet chili and sour cream. These two, I will give a perfect taste score. And in a very close second, tie for second, you've got lime and black pepper, Dijon mustard and honey, bourbon glaze, sticky ribs. All three are very good. You can't go wrong with any of those either. And then we move on to tie for third, honey soy chicken and the crispy pork belly. And we got fourth, roast chicken. In fifth, sea salt and in sixth, sea salt and balsamic vinegar. One question I really wanted to answer, how does kettle compare to Red Rock Deli? This one scored 10 on our last review. So let's put these two to the test. Not much between them. They look very similar. Another question answered. I really can't choose one as being better than the other. So subjectively, for me at least, the best of the kettle is just as good as the best of Red Rock Deli. As usual, I'm going to do a breakdown table of every single flavor, how it all ranks in terms of value, ingredients, and of course flavor. Just because it's the best tasting doesn't mean it's always gonna be on top simply because the ingredients might affect its overall ranking. Also, things are going up in price. So the price of these, these are now $6.30 per bag. And that is quite expensive, especially considering these ones are only 150 grams. The standard flavors are 165 grams. Here's the ranking table with adjusted values, of course. Have a quick look. Kettle itself is not immune. Kettle's also gone up. So instead of $5.50 per bag, it's now $6 a bag. And that brings us to the end of another video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next one.